Hi guys, I am back with another video. I am here today doing an interview with Miss Styles. The one and only. <laughs> so I'll be interviewing her, doing a few questions. Ready to get started? Yes. All right. Tell us about yourself, name, title, what you do, etc. Well, my government name, what my mother named me, is Janelle Taylor. And I like to say Janelle, because it's French. Taylor, aka Miss Styles, and that's capital S, small s, capital S, T Y L Z, no E, no space. Oh, you said what I do. Okay, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I'm a charm teacher, um, I have an online store at the styles all in one.com. Y'all yeah, bear with me on that store because I'm still working on the website. Although I've had it for over a decade, I've been so busy, I hadn't really had a chance to get in there and do what I need to do. But I'm going to work on it, so stay tuned. All right. How long have you known what you wanted to do? All of my life. Ever since I was little. Okay. What made you want to be everything that you are, aspired to be? Well, growing up, we grew up kind of poor. In the hood. Which is not always a bad thing, as long as you grow from it. But... We didn't have as much um, as I'd like. So looking at TV, I always admired like Tony Braxton and Mariah Carey and some of the celebrities that I saw on screen. Um, I always wanted to make clothes for dolls and make clothes for myself or alter clothes or do my sister and her friend's hair so they can go to the club. and make a little change so and then when I would walk down the street everybody would say Hollywood swinging so I felt like a celebrity in the hood <laughs> where did you go to cosmetology school I went to GTCC um I chose GTCC over the other schools because the other schools had like programs for like six months or you just got your 15 100 hours and got out of there but GTCC had a two-year program where we took chemistry, anatomy, um, business, math, um, English, psychology, sociology. We took so many courses. It didn't only prepare you for doing hair. It prepared you for a business, a future, um, other things, you know, amongst just planning hair. So that's why I picked that school. Give us one moment from cosmetology school that stands out to you. One moment. I have to say the moment where the he was the director of state boards. Um, he was over the cosmetology program and he looked at me and he said to me, and I'm smiling because I feel like cute in my phone closet, but he looked at me and he said, I'm glad that the girls have you to look up to. Wow. That was big. And he was over the entire program. He was on state boards. He was the man. But he always liked how it was positive for the girls. And that kind of touched me. <laughs> Give me a little boost. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Now, I used to be Pretty Woman. But my favorite movie now, I have to say Devil Wears Prada. Meryl That's Street. Good That's a good one. She's <laughs> bossed up. I thought, was, I thought was, you were going to say Pretty Woman. Yeah. It was a learning experience to it all. As an aspiring actress, what roles would you like to play? Oh, yeah, I didn't even say that in the beginning, but yes, I want to be an actress. And that's my biggest goal, actually. Um, but everything else has to lead me there because I'm not rich. So I can't just go to Hollywood and say, hey, yo, put me in that script. So I have to work my way and get my money right. But what was the question? As an aspiring actress, what roles would you like to play? Action, ball stuff. Anything close to like Angelina Jolie, you know, she's a bad A. So anything along those lines. Yes. Who inspires you and why? Angelina Jolie and <laughs> Beyonce. And Angelina Jolie inspires me because like I said, she's always playing that bad. Even when she played in Girl Interrupted. Remember she was kind of crazy psycho? Yeah. Like that crazy psycho. Like look, I don't it makes you just get a rush. Well, me, it makes me get a rush. And Beyonce, she's always on point. 
her her wardrobe. She's bossed up. She can walk on the stage, make everybody scream. Don't have to do nothing. Stand there and look. So if I could get in that position, I can make a lot of people respect me, listen to me, and I could change a lot of lives. Because a lot of people don't use their platform to make a difference. So that's what I really want to do. But go ahead. That's me. If you could bring anything back, what would it be? Anything back. Um, I have to say respect, respect for yourself, respect for others. Um, the children just seem like they're losing respect for the elders. Um, that's what I bring back. If you could change anything in the world, what would it be and why? Change anything in the world, the way people use God's name in vain and people's belief factor is not the same as it used to be. Um, I would just bring that back, um, respecting God. I see a lot of jokes on Facebook about God and, and they're not taking it seriously, but he is God, he's the creator, he's the almighty. So regardless of what anybody thinks, I'm gonna always respect his name. We could play and joke with Susie and, and Callie, and Trudy, right. and, but God, that's a whole nother disrespect, and they're going to have to pay for it. So that's what I would change. Name something you think is overrated. Fake bodies. <laughs> I do. That's like, the young girls, uh -huh. look at their, look what they have. They're, like, stressing it. Oh, my body's not this, and my body's not that, and they're looking up to the girls with the fake boobs and fake, you know, butts and the fake face and all of that. Hair is one thing. Nails is one thing. You can take that off and lay it down and go to sleep. But to change your body, putting things in it that's not healthy, altering what God gave you, um, possibly um, jeopardizing your health, um, that's not cool. So it's so overrated. So all of you young ladies out here, love yourself. And that's what I really want to say. Love yourself. I don't care if you're 300 pounds. Love all 300 pounds of yourself. I don't care if you got a boy for a butt. Upplay what you do have. If you got good hair, upplay it. If you got a good set of boots, upplay it. If you got a good nail job. If you don't have nothing else to rely on, get a good nail job. Get a good weed job. Look good, but love yourself. That's what I'll say. If you could have more or less of anything, what would it be? More or less. I'd have more positivity and less negativity because what you feed will grow. And I like to stay positive. Even being negative on Facebook, you have children looking up to you or peers looking up to you. You don't realize that they're following you. So if you're negative talking about gang banging and this and that, and they think, oh, this is cool. And now they're feeding this in their spirit versus people being positive saying, yeah, you know, boss up, get a business, you know, mm -hmm. do this, that, showing them how to. That's what we need more of, and less of negativity. Okay. Who raises the bar for you? Me. That's right. <laughs> I do, because like, I have my businesses, and I can look back and say, you know what? I know I've been here. I'm not going to look at what Susie Q did and say, oh, God, I got to live up to what she did. No, I'm going to set the bar for myself. And every time I go out, That's I'm going to try to do better and better and better and better. I need to keep that in mind. What do you wish to accomplish through success? Touching lives of the youth in a positive way. Like I said, everything that we talked about from body, you know, changing their bodies and their attitudes, just changing their mindset on life and respecting themselves and respecting others and, you know, just charm. And, and I did say I, I teach charm. So just having them love themselves. And like I said, that platform I was talking about earlier, if I can get myself there, then I really can tell girls to love themselves. Cause I see girls saying, oh yeah, uh, I'm a B and this and that, or um, letting the guys call them hoes, these my hoes. And they like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 boo. I'm not gonna be nobody's B and nobody's hoe. So that's what I hope to do. Even if I touch one more. That's what I want to do. What's the best advice you can give? The best advice. Be the best you that you can be. Not anybody else. Be the best you that you can do. 
you can be. So regardless to what everybody else is doing and mom is doing, um, be the best you. And you can't control what others do, how others feel. All you can control is how you react to the situation. So be the best you that you can be and you'll be okay. What do we have to look forward to from you in the future? Well, I'm going to give you a little bit, and then I'm going to say you have to stay tuned for that. But I am trying to put together, um, and I might have to do like a GoFundMe or whatever I have to do to raise money, but I do want to go from state to state and have charm classes and just give a briefing and talk to you. Go to youth centers, different places, do um, complimentary makeovers for girls that's trying to get um, jobs and have interviews. Um, but we will have like um, paperwork and things to show that you have the interview. We will do that for some of the youth centers. Um, but it's a lot to come. But if you want to know more, you can follow me on YouTube and she'll put the links. I don't know if it's in the bottom yeah, or top. description. Right, left, where it's gonna be, but it's gonna be on there. Um, and my name is Miss Styles, and again, capital M, lowercase s, capital S, T Y L Z, no E, no space. And that's my Yahoo. And then it is Janelle Taylor on the end of it. With Facebook, it's my name, Janelle Taylor, and it has this Miss Styles in parentheses. My Instagram is Miss Styles1, all lowercase, M S S T Y L Z, one for Instagram. So you can follow me, and if you don't remember, you can go back to Trisha's page and watch the video again, and it'll have it on the links. But I greatly appreciate y'all. And I also want to say I thank you for this platform right here because I'm um, greatly appreciated that you let me come <laughs> and interview me. I really do. I really, really do. So thank you. Happy to have you. Thank you. And that's it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and be blessed. Thank you.